I've been here all my life, just about. Little time I lived in Denver. Oh, okay. That's another life. I'm on my ride from the Volvo going to the hotel. Got old Michael here. Good peoples. Uh, we in Amarillo. Mike, tell me something about Mike. Can I call you Michael or is it Michael? You, you can call me Mike. Can I put you on film? Sure. Michael. How you doing? <laughs> tell YouTube what up. Uh, what up? <laughs> I'll put it on YouTube, huh? YouTube and All my right. website, lifeisatrucker.com. That's oh. the old big Texan. Oh, that's where that 72-ounce steak is. That's where it's at. You know anybody that take it out? There's been a couple guys that stayed at the hotel that took it out. It feed me and my three kids and for about <laughs> three days, probably. <laughs> it's a lot of food. Yeah, I heard a couple guys saying that they tried it and there was no way in the world, but you say it's been done several times, huh? Oh, thousands of times. Oh, yeah. All the way from... Uh, I think the youngest was like an eight-year-old boy, and uh, the oldest was an 80, 80-something-year-old lady that's done it. An 80-year-old lady? 80, 80-year-old lady that, that put it away in an hour. In an hour? Oh, yeah. you got to do it in an hour anyway, though. Yes, sir. How hard were y'all hit by the recession and everything? You know, actually, I th actually, I think we stayed on top pretty well. Oh, yeah? I think we did really well. Not a lot of, you know, there hadn't been a lot of job losses here, and everybody just steadily maintain you know maintain your jobs and kept everything going okay well, that's great glad to hear that <laughs> there are towns that's impacted less and there are people that still uh that's maintaining you just got to find ways to, to do it to get around and figure out what you need to do as an individual to get through don't let what other people are going through and uh, the news keep you from thinking on how to maintain and get through it, you know? Exactly. You yeah, start yeah. internalizing as being the end of the, end of the world and every mountain you end up facing is going to seem like impassable instead of figuring out how to get around it, you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. You got to keep focused. You got to keep facing forward. Yeah. So tell me about Amarillo other than that, though. What kind of town is it? Uh, Does it get dead at night? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh... There's a little bit of action that happens downtown. There, we got a few nightclubs downtown. Uh, this is a this is an old western town. You know, there's a lot of a lot of old west still around Amarillo. Oh yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of rodeos still go on here. And, oh yeah. Uh, Are there any black quarter horse associations here for cutting horses? And, so is there a lot of uh, what do you call it? You said cutting horses. Yeah. Oh, that's breaking them in. Well, cutting horses is what uh, for cutting cows for uh, for wrangling cows and everything. Oh, so. so what are you talking about? When you're breeding horses to use to wrangle cows, that's what they call cutting horses. Yeah, they're cut. They're oh. they're, they're a special breed of horse. Oh. Uh, oh, that's the name of the breed that's used for that. It's cutting horses. Well, no, or is that's that a process that, that's to get them uh, ready to do that. Yeah, that's what they are after. Oh. You can you know. You, you can breed cutting horses, which cutting horses is a job that the that the horse does. Oh, is cutting cutting cows. You know they can they can pick through the cows easier. Oh, that's oh you know, okay. Good, good for rodeo, good for roping, and uh, like that. Are there black cowboys? There's a few. <laughs> We've seen a few of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know it was, I think it was this one movie or I whatever. It was I don't think they discriminate that. too much about, uh, <laughs> they don't get racist on uh, being a cowboy. You just got to do your job. Well, I thought that was like a lifestyle, like trucking. Cowboy is actually a job. It's a job. So a it's, cowboy is what? Is a person a, who raises cows? Is yeah. that a cowboy? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah, they get out there and they, they feed them every day. They get out there and they... They raise their cows. They raise them, bring them to market, sell them. Oh, you know, I didn't know that that was official title to the person. That, so a person that raises cows is a cowboy? They're cowboys, yeah. <laughs> Man, I've been lost all this time. And I tell you, they, they dress like it too. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them, but you know, I thought they were basically just conforming to the stereotypical image. I mean, I just thought that's the way they dress. No, there's still plenty of them around today. 
I just learned something today. I hope I wasn't the only one. Because I don't feel stupid. <laughs> Mind right, me man. running with camcorder? Yeah, I, I'll get back I'm doing a little documentary little. of my yes. uh, trucking trip to El Paso. <laughs> Y'all mind being on it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is okay. part of the cab, gun. Oh, okay. Cool. That's real cool. That's I, just my girlfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, my now, supervisor. Now, who we got? Your girl? Your, <laughs> you got your girl, Renee, your supervisor? Yeah, got to. You got that girl. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all, y'all from Amarillo? Yes. Um, I'm originally from Georgia. She's from here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't get your name. I'm Tammy. Tammy. Tim. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm Herbie. Nice to meet you, buddy. From uh, North Carolina. Okay. Y'all never, y'all will never believe my last name. What's that? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm just gonna say. Oh, I want to hear the back of the day story. He and he'll do things just to make the law mad. Oh yeah. <laughs> he'll get up at two o'clock in the morning, go out there and run all of his cattle out on the highway, just so the law have to go out there and round them up. Put spots everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to find some real good spots. I don't know nothing about it. Sounds like drama. Let's tell him. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes, and he is entering. <laughs> Back in the Back day. Back in the day. <laughs> Don't put that on TV. <laughs> <laughs>